Hi there, welcome back to DMK Skoda in Wakefield. Today I've got the privilege to show you around this amazing looking Skoda Superb Estate Lauren and Clement Edition 1.4 litre hybrid. It's a beautiful car this. I've been part exchanging for a new VRS Enyaq Coupe. I'm just going to show you around it, show you some of the features. We'll start off with obviously this lovely black magic paint that you can see here. Really is a stunning colour on this. You've got the nice tinted glass with the chrome around on the window and the chrome roof bars. Chrome strips on the bottoms of the door and these amazing proper Aero 18 inch alloys. These are the favorite alloys of mine that we do on a car and they just help this car look just that little bit more special than a standard superb. Lovely car this. One owner, full service history with the dealership. As I move around here, the registration for this car is Yankee Mike 20 Mike Golf Juliet. The only reason it's covered is because it's still on its private plate. Uh, but if I show you under the boot, obviously electric tailgate. As usual, you find a generous size boot in this, easy to get to St. Bernard's in this car, I know from experience. Obviously you've got storage pockets either side, seat lowering from here, the removable torch, the parcel shelf to hide the contents, and of course under here you've got your charging cable for the hybrid section. We'll just close that boot now. It's got the mud flaps on the rear of all four wheels as well, very nice. Keyless entry on all doors. And if I just put this seat back up, you'll find immaculate black leather in here with nice sort of cream white stitching all around. Really is very, very nice with lovely clean carpets as well. Obviously, you've got electric windows in both doors. You've got heated seats on the rear too, as well as the tri-climate control. So the separate climate for the rear passengers and obviously the armrest and ice fix points there as well. Very, very nice. You've got obviously the nice chrome Lauren and Clement badge in there. It's just a subtle nod to it being the better, the best, in fact, the best Superb that we can offer. And there we have the grill. Very, very nice. Then as we step inside, I feel like this may this video may be a long video because there's a lot to show you. We'll start off with the mileage, 26,154 miles on the clock. Obviously you've got the virtual cockpit there, which is nice to have. You've got dynamic cruise control on uh, the separate stock there, indicators and wipers. Automatic lights here with front and rear fogs, keyless entry on all doors as mentioned and keyless go. All electric window and mirror adjustment including electronic folding. There's the navigation on there. Then we come to the infotainment. So you have all round cameras here and you can select which one you want. So just for that ease of parking, excuse the quality, obviously there's rain droplets on them because the weather's not the nicest today but it's just nice to have that. Uh, obviously as usual you've got drive modes with preset buttons for sport and eco. Eco also brings up if you want to go in E mode or just the hybrid mode and it'll tell you about the charge information there. Uh, you've got, what else have we got? We've got satellite navigation as standard, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Bluetooth connectivity for your phone, amount of uh, driver assist. You've got traffic sign recognition, blind spot monitoring, lane departure warning, trailer recognition. Uh, you've also got speed limiter there. Just a lot of kit on this car and it's just it's the top spec, it's amazing. Then as we move down to the uh, air conditioning, obviously you've got the heated front windscreen. Very, very nice, it helps on the ice in the morning. This button, normally just the heated, when you press it, you have heated and cooled seats in the front. And you also have a heated steering wheel, which is nice to have. Just an amazing feature on this. Obviously you've got that on the passenger side as well. Normal rest of the controls you have there. Under here you've got the wireless charging with the USB-C port and the 12 volt charger socket, still a decent sized pocket for your phone. Obviously the normal gearbox here, just nice and smooth with difference between drive and braking. You've got sport button, eco button, drive mode select. This opens the fuel cap because it has to be vacuum locked in order for it to function. So instead of just pressing it in to open, you have to physically press it there. Uh, parking assist, so it will park the car in spots for you. This is really just a gimmick, but it's a nice gimmick to have all around cameras and opening the boot from within. Obviously got electronic handbrake, auto hold and door locking, two and a half cup holders that are concealable, an air conditioned um, unit here with a locking wheel nut in, air conditioned cuff box, nice storage in there, also doubles as an armrest, pop that back in there. In here you've got the owner's manual, again air conditioned, nice space in there with a the pen holder. Again these lovely leather seats, they are great with obviously all the little pin holes for um, the cooling. Up here you've got your uh, sunglasses storage and all in all this is just an amazing car, really is very impressive, I am in awe of it. 
So if you are interested in this car, and I apologise this video has been so long, please do feel free to visit us at Div Denbydale Road Wakefield, WF27AW, or alternatively, give us a call on 01924 246 900. Thank you very much for your time, and as always, you take care now.